Hello Grebos and welcome back to downloadable content. In today's video, I have a ton of mods that you are absolutely going to be interested in. Have you wanted to feel like a god? Well, you absolutely can in Blade and Sorcery. You see, I've put together 12 mods that are so OP that you will absolutely feel like a god while playing this. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's mod showcase. First on today's list, in no particular order, is an incredible tongue twister. It's called DDE Kung Fu Scorpion Style by Dancing Dev. Yeah, nailed it on the first take. The Kung Fu Style by... Nope. <laughs> now, this mod lets you put, like, critical hit joints on the NPCs you're fighting, and when you hit them, well, something spectacular happens. I don't want to ruin the magic, so let's just show you. So this critical hit kung fu move is... Uh, it's not complicated, but it really is bound to the right hand. It doesn't require a spell, but what you need to do is while you're looking at an NPC, you're going to hold both the trigger and grip button, and I like to also tap the Oculus like like uh, menu button. Uh, I, it seems to work, but when you do it, you'll notice that lightning strikes. Look at that FX. Isn't that amazing? And you'll see a nice purple thing right there. So if I were to go ahead and, you know, punch that purple thing, he, well, something's going to happen to him. It lasts for about 10 seconds. Whoops. And you're supposed to get tokens for every three kills, but I couldn't wait that long, so I went in the Jasons and edited it to have, well, a thousand critical hit tokens. That way I could properly show it. So let's go ahead and... You know, put that there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and punch it. Gah! Did I miss? Oh, he like blocked me? Okay, fine. <laughs> you see how he explodes like a lot? So that's because I'm putting critical hit points right there, and it's, you know, super fun. So this guy thinks he's cool. Anything that I hit with it, a kick, a punch, a stab, they'll explode. So become a god and blow up these mortals. Next up, we have the NPC Spawner Spell by Talion. And yes, I've showed you this one before, but I need to include it because how else are you gonna feel like a god? You could literally like create life just by blasting something. Check it out. The NPC Spawner Spell, also referred to as the Demi Spell, that's kinda what it's named as in the file, I don't know, but this one is kinda tricky because it has a couple of things you could do. So while holding this one down, you'll see how it's like, you know, gray, right? So that one is just going to cast like this regular old dude. He's like, look, I'm a regular old dude. This guy is literally just the dummy. So if you just want to practice some things on him, this is what you do. But if you wanted to, you know, not cast a dummy, here's what you have to do. Press and hold and then press the bottom grip button. He's going to stop. Then you press and hold again. Now this one will spawn an ally. So if I just cast, well, he's supposed to be an ally. When it made me look like a fool. As I was saying, press and hold, and then press the bottom grip button. Then press and hold again. Press that bottom grip button. Now, you'll notice that this one turns red. So now that this one's red, whatever I cast it towards is going to be an actual enemy for me to fight. So I don't have to worry about wave books, but you could be a god. I could be like, hey, buddy, you want to know what? Before I kill you, let's spawn a friend over there for you so he can just watch you die. <laughs> and then, you know, this is gah, where it's at. Create life, and then, of course... After you've created it, take it away. There won't be a ton of weapons on this list, but this next one is, well, one of my favorites. I've showcased it before, surprise, surprise, but it's called Yamato by Gen X, and <laughs> let me tell you, this is one of my favorites. The weapon's a little a bit on the heavier side, but I think you're gonna like it. I love using the Yamato because there's so many different abilities. It's bound to the sheath and the sword and your spell use button. But if I'm just holding it in my left hand and press the trigger, I'm gonna fire this like, you know, blade of doom. Um, also, if I press the spell use button with the left hand is, you know, I can like jump all around. And you have to be careful because you might fly through a couple of things. But that's part of the fun. You can also unsheath the sword and hold down the trigger button and you'll fire this like blue line. So this is a blade that will cut your enemies down. It is super fantastic. And last but not least, while holding the spell use button in my right hand, if I do that and chop through an enemy, depending on where I hit and then sheath it, they'll fall to pieces. Look at this guy, fire a blade. <laughs> See how powerful that can be? Wherever I'm looking, I can fire this blade. And this poor fool, well, I'm gonna draw my sword and just get, 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 get him. How is that missing? 
All right, now. Hiya! All right, this guy, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. <laughs> that guy just refused to be chopped up, which is funny. There you go. And then while holding down the spell use button with this, what we're going to do is just. Wah, 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 wah. And then we're going to animate Sheath and he's going to break the pieces. And this is the Yamato. Moving right along, we have the Blades of Exile by Pixel Gamer 47. And well, I mean, we're talking about being a god, but what about slaying the gods? That's right. You can become Kratos with all these blades and you know what it is. Check out, become Kratos. So these are the Blades of Exile and no, they're not bound to me because I'm not cursed, but they're supposed to come back. Like I can go wah, 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 and throw them. And after I throw them, it comes back. But be careful because if you have two of them, like look at this, ready? So if I throw this one and want it to return with the grip, it's going to be like, nah. And it's because I'm holding down this one. So you really only kind of want to use one at a time, which is a bit of a bummer. But if I were to throw this one, it's going to come back to me. Ow, it's going to stick me in the hand. So be careful of that one. So... Uh, yeah, it, it does some damage to you, so, so be careful. So if you want to feel like the dollar store version of Kratos, well, this is where it's at. Hey, you know what game actually sucks now? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Overwatch, but it does have some cool things in the game. So I've always wanted to play as that old guy Sigma, and well, now you can. So we have Sigma by, hold on a minute, I gotta check my notes. Okay, yeah, it's Sigma's Weapons by something underscore, and I think you're going to enjoy it. Ah, look at this. You can really be Sigma. Like, it's imbued with gravity, right? But, you know, <laughs> how else are they going to make it happen? But this one is supposed to do, like, like splash damage. So if I was, like, throw it at someone, it does, like, the gravity slam. So, y y how else can I describe this other than you pretty much are kind of like Sigma. I have two of them. And also, if you just let them go, they're just going to float here. <laughs> so you can do some like uh, weird things like, Duh! <laughs> but you know, it's more about like throwing at them. And depending on how hard you throw it is that determines like the splash and, and the damage. So if I'm just like, take this, boom, you know, <laughs> he's going to get pretty messed up. Moving right along is we have magic shackles by the little husky. And yeah, I've showed this one before also, but once again, I want to become a god. You want to become a god, so you're not going to want to miss this. Magic Shackles isn't a spell. It's something that's pretty much always on, and it happens when you grab any part of the NPC. So if I was like, friend, I'm going to need this arm and this arm, put it together and then hold the spell use button, and he's like, oh no, what happened? So this is really why I love this one, because you, I don't know, <laughs> like, yeah, Maybe it's not quite God powers, but to me it is because I'm like, I'm binding them and there's nothing that they can do about it. And you could do so much more than just put them in shackles. Like, take a look at this guy. Look at his dumb head. You see his dumb head and you see this wall? Well, if you're smart, you're gonna know that you could just stick him right to that. And he's like, help, I'm stuck to this wall. And if you have like a bigger wave, well then they're just gonna be like, oh my God, my friend's stuck to this wall. So this is pretty much how I like to feel like a God. So get magic shackles. Gah! Up next is the Tesla pack by the Tasmanian Devil. This gives you three new spells and they're all, well, electricity based and you know, it's time to feel like a god with some lightning. The Tesla pack gives you three new uh, electricity spells. So you have the Tesla beam, the Tesla globe, and the Tesla coil. So if we grab the coil first and hold the spell use button, just look at this. It's just like, I'm a Tesla coil. It looks pretty cool and you could just shoot like uncontrollable lightning. Now we have the Tesla globe and the Tesla globe is, well, it just fires it like <laughs> all around me. So if I was just like kind of surrounded, this is what I would cast, and <laughs> it's weird. This is a weird one. I don't know. It, it seems like go behind, which is hilarious, but... And then finally, we have my favorite one, the Tesla Beam, and, well, this one's self-explanatory. Tesla Beam! It is extremely powerful, and you can do some horrible things to it, so what do you think? Is this more of a god power or no? If you are a Dark Souls fan, then, well, you are in luck. Up next is the Sunlight Spear, or Lightning Spear, depends on what game you're playing, by Schmidt. Oh, this one, well, lets you summon a lightning bolt in your hand and, well, throw it at someone. You know, like Zeus, a god. Anyway, let's check it out. The Sunlight Spear will be in your spell wheel and it will look like the fire one. You know, there's normal fire and there it is right there. So let's cast that one. So now I have that. And when I press down the trigger, I'm gonna hold it and then release it. And here we go. 
I now have a bolt of sunlight and you can just straight up throw it. Boom! Yeah, and it's going to mark people. But you could also use it like as a dagger, which is pretty cool. So cast, hold, and the second I poke this guy, it's going to explode. Right. <laughs> so, you know, if you're a Dark Souls enthusiast um, and you like those abilities, then you're really going to love becoming Zeus. Don't move, friend! Hey, we're having fun here, aren't we? And let's not spoil the fun. What's more fun than a nuke? Well, nothing's more fun than a nuke. And Vlad AK has us covered with nuke. So get ready to own your kill streaks. And well, here's a freaking nuke. Now, you see how these knights are pretty upset at me? Well, there's one thing that they don't have that I do. No, it's not flying. Of course I have flying. It's, I have my new tactical nuke. So you'll find this in the exotic category. And when I press this trigger, well, something amazing is going to happen. Now, I think I have this set to spawn. The normal spawn is 400 meters whoa, away from player. But I think I set it to like 20 just because I wanted to be in the explosion. And I turned off the ability for it to harm me. But let's press this and, uh, well, see what horrible things happen to them. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's supposed to like just straight up <laughs> and it did eviscerate everyone. 10 second delay or 5 seconds. Whoa! Look how fantastic that is. And you can kind of set like where this will spawn. You know, I probably should have done that a little bit better, but you know, <laughs> powerful nukes. You can summon nukes. What else do I need to say? Sorry, friends. It's nuke time. Appearing once again on today's list is Little Husky bringing us the Blink spell. Now, this one's a little anime, but, you know, anime has gods and whatever. This one enables you to teleport behind your enemy and then, well, do some weird stuff to them. And I know you're going to love this. So, the Blink spell. I like to keep the Blink spell in my, my left hand. This way I can still do things with my right hand. But, basically, if I'm looking at this guy and I press the trigger now while, you know, while staring at him, I'm just gonna teleport behind him and it leaves like a nice puff of smoke, which, you know, I really appreciate. So this is fun because you can be like, ha ha, teleport behind you. Now teleport in front of you, now behind you. And you can just keep teleporting. So <laughs> it's really fun to do. Uh, careful, don't make yourself throw up. But if you have a lot of enemies, you know, you can just be like, teleport behind him, destroy him, teleport behind the next guy. Destroy them also. Up next is we have the Fire Dragon Fist by Talion. So rather than just normally punching someone or throwing a fireball like a loser, you can abuse your hand with a super fire punch and become Captain Falcon. Take a look. Up next is Atomic Disintegration by Pied Pop. This one's near and dear to my heart because I commissioned this one to be made and it came from the old brain noodle up here, but Pied Pop in association with Doggo made this one happen for me. And I don't know if I've properly showcased this one off. I've used it a bunch. I don't know if I showcased this one, but get ready to turn people to dust with Atomic Dis Disintegration. Ah, uh, Atomic Disintegration, referred to as Ash in your spell wheel if you're using the spell wheel enhancer. So this one is just super fun. Now most people using this one will just kind of hold you know the trigger to cast this one and then shoot it like it's a fireball and oh look at all the dust but did you guys know that so much work went into this one that i needed it to happen you had to be able to hold the fool like i'm dead in the eyes and then of course press the trigger button and just turn to ash while holding them so it was hard for them to figure out. I'm glad that Pie Pop kind of pulled through in the 11th hour and got this one, but I'm telling you, there's nothing more fun than being like, nope, grab, disintegrate. And last but not least, is you can also merge these two together and just, just eviscerate everyone on the map. And so this guy, ready? I'm gonna pull apart like gravity, and he's gone. Our pen ultimate entry on today's list is Soul Fire by Oxy. Now, what type of god would we be if we couldn't only just take away life? Well, we wouldn't be a merciful god. So get ready to bring people back from the dead and change their hair to blue with soul fire. Let's have some fun. Get ready, friend, for the next experiment, stab. Oh no, he has died. And that's unfortunate because I needed him for other things, but no, no matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast soul fire and just hit him right in his body, boom! Hey, did you kill him the second I revived him? That is messed up, man. Well, let's try that again. Revive! Okay, <laughs> sir, 
I'm going to need you to stop doing that. Now, look, my man has come back from the dead. Isn't that fantastic? His eyes were closed and everything. But all I have to do, you know, if he dies again, I can just keep bringing this man back. So this guy could be like, oh, no, my friends. Well, I can revive him. Don't worry, your friend's coming back, and I can revive him. So <laughs> now I can feel like a truly, like, crazy god, like Loki. So these guys, well, he needs a weapon. There, take that weapon. <laughs> so they'll just straight up do my bidding. So bring three people back from the dead, you know, be a chaotic god. Whoo! This is a ton of mods, but our final entry on today's list is, depending on your skill with the English language, Latin or Latent Force by Linica. Now, this one is mildly complicated, similar to some of his other mods, but this one just enables you to do some like gesture based, like lifting and pushing people around. So, well, let's take a look at it. Oh, Latent Force. Well, yeah, this one has been on the entire time, and you see all this, like, force particles floating in the air. I bet you guys didn't notice that until I said it. Well, this one enables me to kind of control the force itself. So I'm actually moving all this stuff around, and I can interact with different objects with it. So if I wanted to lift this stuff up, I could, and use the force itself. You have to use both hands to do it, so don't think you can only do it with one, but you can do some amazing fun thing so let's spawn some people hi friend would you like to go into the air <laughs> now you can control how much latin force that you actually use so keep that in mind push but this is really fun to to use so let's see if i could huh, fly up in the air with him oh no yeah so this one you know if you want to combine this one with the outer rim i i, I feel like you should <laughs> because yeah you can use some like real force powers i wish i wish you could do it with one hand i understand why you can't but you know, depending on how much actual force. So if I just wanted to be like, baby levitate. I could do a baby levitate, baby. Like, come on. Baby levitate. And then, of course, we could do a nice strong big boy levitate. Oh, big boy levitate. There you go. <laughs> so why not control the force today and download Latin force? Well, Grebos, that is it for today's mod showcase. There was a ton of mods in this one, and now you are well equipped to become a god yourself. Once again, all the links for these mods are in the description, and not only that, is we have a bunch of other things in the description. Why not go ahead and get yourself three free months of NordVPN that would really help out the channel directly. Not only that, is we have links directly to the Patreon, our Discord, and of course, the merch store. All that stuff truly helps out the channel. You guys have been amazing, and the support is absolutely fantastic. I cannot thank you guys enough. If you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing hit that little subscribe button this is YouTube I shouldn't have to tell you that just do it other than that I've been Rob from downloadable content thank you so much for stopping by and other than that I will see you in the next video